Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hide a boot camp hard drive, a boot camp partition on your Mac OS X computer from your desktop without hiding the Macintosh hard drive. There's a couple of different ways to do this. The first one is just to eject and unmount the boot camp drive, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, but I do want to let you know that if you are going to be transferring files between your Macintosh partition and your Windows partition, while you're here in, in your Mac partition, if you eject this, if you unmount this, you're not going to be able to access this drive and move files. So for those of you who, who are just restarting your computer and accessing Boot Camp as a completely separate entity, this solution would work for you. But if you're transferring files, um, you're going to want to do my second solution. So all we need to do for this is click and drag Boot Camp to the trash. You'll see the eject symbol. Or my favorite way is just to click on it and then press Command E for eject. It might take a second, but then you'll notice that that hard drive is going to disappear from our desktop. As you can see, it's now gone. I could move my documents up. If we wanted to remount that drive and have it again appear on our desktop and be able to transfer files, what we would want to do is access Disk Utility, which we can do by pressing Command and Spacebar to enter Spotlight, and then just search for Disk Utility. Go ahead and open that up. And in Disk Utility, you'll notice in the left side panel. Uh, we have our boot camp drive. It's a little grayed out. If we click on it and actually right click on it, we have the option to mount boot camp and it appears back on our desktop. Now my second solution, which will still allow you to transfer files between your Macintosh hard drive and your Windows hard drive, is basically to hide hard disks on our desktop and use an alias for our Macintosh hard drive. So to start, we're going to right click on the Macintosh HD and we're going to click make alias. You'll notice we now have another link to our Macintosh hard drive here on our desktop. Now what we can do is, with clicking on our desktop, we want to make sure that we're in the Finder application. We're going to click on Finder, and then Preferences, and we're going to go to the General tab, and we're going to unclick Hard Disks. You'll notice when we do that, our hard disks are now hidden from our desktop. We could close this out, and we could move our Macintosh HD alias over here. I could click once and then click again on the name to rename this and I could just call it Macintosh HD. Uh, so it kind of looks the same, the only difference is we have that little arrow there. Uh, if you decide you don't want to do this, you can just delete this alias, which I do with Command Delete. And we can go back up to Finder, click on Preferences, and we can redisplay our hard disks. So those are two ways to hide the Boot Camp partition from your Macintosh HD desktop when using Boot Camp. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.